Now to that World Cup bombshell tonight. All of those questions, why did the U.S. lose the World Cup? Well, now a massive crackdown by the FBI. Nine top officials accused of taking $150 million in bribes and kickbacks. Briefcases stuffed with cash. Raids around the world tonight and right here at home in Miami. And ABC's chief investigative correspondent, Brian Ross, following the money. With officials hiding behind bedsheets, the biggest scandal ever in the world's biggest sport unfolded in dramatic fashion this morning with arrests in Zurich, Switzerland, and an FBI raid in Miami at the offices of the officials who oversee soccer in the U.S. and Central America. In all tonight, nine of the most powerful men in the soccer world stand accused of taking tens of millions of dollars in bribes, cash in a briefcase in a Paris hotel room, wire transfers to offshore bank accounts, even an expensive painting delivered from a New York City art gallery. Yes! All for the officials' votes at authorities on where World Cup and other FIFA tournament soccer games would be played and broadcast. This really is the World Cup of fraud. The winner is Qatar. The investigation began after the U.S. narrowly lost the 2022 World Cup to the country of Qatar amid allegations of bribery. But almost immediately, there were questions about the wisdom of holding the World Cup in the Arabian desert heat in one of the hottest places on Earth, as we saw. Now about 1 in the afternoon, and the temperature is just at 124 degrees. Had the U.S. won, it would have meant an estimated $5 billion to the 18 U.S. cities, which would have hosted the games. I think the ultimate victim is, is soccer writ large. But investigators say they also discovered payoffs that benefited the U.S., some $30 million in alleged bribes to bring a major tournament, the so-called Copa America Games, to the U.S. for the first time. This is making world headlines tonight. Brian with us now. We saw 124 That's degrees right. when you were there in Qatar, which had us puzzled at the time. But any chance of a revote tonight? Well, it's not official saying the World Cup in Qatar in 2022 will go ahead as scheduled, despite the allegations that it was bought and paid for, David. All right, Brian Ross on the money trail. Brian, thanks.